The display of the indoor mini split AC is not turning on. Someone has sent us its PCB board for repair. So let's test it. The owner didn't send the remote with it. So I will use this universal remote to test it. Now I am passing electricity through the control board. And see the display carefully, how does it work? The control board turned on, but the display didn't turn on. And I have tried to set the universal remote on it, but it is also not working. So I will check how much voltage it shows on the multimeter. I will check the voltages on the black and brown wires, as we should get 5 volts on these pins of the connector. The multimeter is showing 3.2 volts on these pins, which is less. So let's check further and rectify the issue. Now I have checked the number of this IC installed here, which is 74HC164D. This is an 8-bit serial in parallel out shift register IC. In short it is a memory IC as well. It works to register the signals coming from the microcontroller. And through those signals, it turns the LEDs on and off, then the display is shown in the form of numbers. Other than this, an IR sensor is installed here, which could disrupt the voltages. Then this problem will be shown. Now let's find out what think is faulty between these two. Now before changing the shift register or the IR sensor, let's check whether the indoor control board is passing voltages correctly or not. As if the indoor control board is faulty, still this same problem will be shown. Or as if the microcontroller is not good, which could disturb the voltages of the display. I have inserted wires with the display connector and passed electricity through it. It has turned on. We should get 5 volts on these wires. So we are getting 5 volts here, as you can see. This means the indoor PCB is fine. Now I must decide which part to change in the display PCB. But I am thinking of changing the shift register I see first so that the display would be fixed. As if the IR get faulty, the display is ok always. So as the display is faulty so, let's change the shift register I see first. Now before changing the IC look for the one number pin of the IC, as I have marked here that the one number pin starts here from this side. This is the new IC which I will change. So let's desolder the old one by heating it with a heat gun. And see this I have removed it. Now I will place the new IC on the pads and solder it. Now it has been aligned according to the pins. Now I will solder it by heating it. It has been soldered properly. Now I am cleaning it to remove any dirt if present. Now it's ready and I will pass electricity through it. And it has turned on. Now I will check it with the remote. So first I am setting the remote according to its code. Now it is working with the remote as well. This means the shift register I see was faulty. And this is how I have fixed the problem. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch the next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.